corner. Oh, I'm live. I'm live now. Powered by the Sapata Bread Studio. This is Straight Outta Jersey with Jersey Jay Z. Greg, we are live. Live in color. Looks different. Looks right? A little bit different, right? A little bit better. A lot better. Much better, right? We are on StreamYard officially. All right. Now, who's coming in? Now, we're going to see who we've got. Uh, I guess George is going to be running the uh, chat board so he can see who's coming on, who's saying hello. I can't see the no, chat board. No one's, no one's going to come in yet because you, you scheduled it. Oh, okay. So you have to just wait. When they pop in, I'll, I'll let you know. Oh, okay. okay. See, it's 7.59. He's saying at 8 o'clock, people. That's right. Is that yeah. what you're saying? Yeah, yeah it's so scheduled for 8.05 because I didn't know what time it was going to be. Big dummy. All okay, right. well, we can wait uh, a couple more minutes. So and then why you send stop. it off? You can't it stop off. it now. I can't, you can't stop, stop it, now? it now. Nope. So oh. start talking. Oh, wait, what are you thinking about P. Diddy? Oh, wait. Brian Pablo's in there. Yeah. I oh, see so Brian. Got... Hey, what's up, Brian? I can't see anybody, but okay. Brian's in there. I see him. All right, Brian. Oh, there's Brian. I see. Uh, why don't I see it on the column here? But okay. You see it? Hey, yeah, Momo. Brian, what's going on? How you All doing? right, good, good, good. He's doing pretty good. Right. Um, so, Greg, this weekend I am going to be seeing um, Michael Spinks. Michael Spinks, remember him? Yeah, yeah, sure, I remember Michael Spinks. Of course, yes, he's going to be doing a, a signing, and I'm going to be uh, trying to get him to do a little shout out for George for the boxing thing and get a little autograph. So Michael oh, Spinks, where's he signing? He's going to be signing uh, down by Rockaway. In New Jersey. So it's a little bit further down, but he's going to be there. And so is uh, Janice Soprano. Remember? A.D. Totoro will be there. Wait, Soprano? You're talking about uh, the sister? Yes. Janice will be there. I'll be with yeah, Janice okay. also. Okay. So she will be there, too. Uh, hello, Jay-Z and Greg. Brian said he's doing well, brother. Now, Brian, how, you look good. How come I don't see Brian over here? What? Over, well, it would be this side here. The Do you see him at all? No, I just see that comment is popping up on the screen. But you would see normally a list to the right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't know. I think because I'm on my stream yard, but normally you see it with Dave's too, don't you? Yeah, even on Dave's. Like when I'm on Dave's, you know, we always see the people on the right. Like there could be 20 people in the room right now, but if he's all, you only see who's commenting. Hmm. Do you understand? Well, maybe, uh, maybe it's the settings on your end. I'm not sure. Can you see other people in the room? I see Brian Pablo is definitely there. So I definitely I see, see Brian. Brian. I see you, Brian. Okay, yeah, he's uh, there. Stream this to your, to your what? Audience. Okay. Uh, whatever. Maybe you see it now. Comments, maybe. Okay. I, I now I see comments, but I want to see. Okay, I don't see who's coming in and who's not. You there, Joe? Yeah, I'm here. I just was just All checking right. to see if I saw anything. But yeah, Brian's there and everything. So, what else is going on, Greg? How are you doing? Man, you know, dog you feeling? Sale. Same, same bullshit. Different day. You know, uh, I saw that thing with uh, Lee Priest where he put up. Brian, you're going to see Lee Priest, right? You said that you did talk to him. Wait. Yes, he got a hold. Of, he got a hold of Lee Priest. Okay, and good. He's hoping he can meet up. Uh, something comes up. That's right, good. Great. I'm glad you got a hold of him. Cause, now, yeah, because Lee said he would. He told me he was yeah. going to hook up with you, so he he definitely would hooked up. I think something happened last time where Lee couldn't go to that place because he's in Newcastle. Yeah, yeah, he's in Newcastle. Yeah. Yeah, but, uh, I yeah, should. but it, they did talk. That's great. I told you guys we could talk. Yeah, bro, Lee's a good guy. Yeah, if he actually, uh, if he actually he jumps in the chat, I can actually invite him on too. Yeah, he's a pisser. Liz a pisser. I yeah. I saw that video that he did, but I didn't see the thing with the guy kicking a cat. Now I fucking hate cats. I'm allergic to cats. I think, but I don't like cruelty to any animals. You know what I'm saying? Like if, yeah. if I kill a rat, sometimes I kill rats outside. You know, in a property. Mm -hmm. If I get it, I feel terrible doing it, but I'm like, fuck this. You know, I can't have them, like Braden in the house or coming into the house or anything. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. But I don't hey. like anything, you know. I hate uh, Morella you. says hello. She's at the rehab with her mother. Hey, Morella. With, her sister, too. Who's with her sister and I think Anthony are there. And I think Fallon, her uh, niece, is also there. Also, they're over there with the mother <clears throat> in uh, Cedar Grove, New Jersey. Morella, you yeah. like the gravy I gave you guys, huh? Yes, it was very good gravy. It was the pastano. Did you get some more? Paisana. Paisana. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a, it, it's on sale right now, shop right. But um, yeah. See, I uh, is 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 just uh, those three in here? Is there any more? I see. I know. I just see right now. Brian, John Mantini's in there. What's up, guy? Hey, What's John. Up, John, how you doing? 
Going? Yeah, I think more people are coming. I think it was because it was scheduled. That's why it happened. Uh, what do we got? Uh, Species Shake is in there. Who's what up, Greg? Shake? What's up, Species Shake? You know I just, that is? Speaking of Species Shake, I just talked to George, Mr. G. Was, oh, was, how'd that go? He's funny. Does the He goes, do the Irish, uh, what does he say? The Irish, uh, what do you call it, Lucia? The Irish hang-up or something like that? Where he just fucking hangs up. Chris it's G, up, what's up? You know, Chris G. You know, he was just saying shit, you know. Is not happy with that situation. Oh, of course, I know he's not happy. You know the story, but hey, Chris, yeah, but I know. Oh Chris shit! G, you, know, you know Chris, Chris? Oh, my brother. Yeah, I know What's Chris. Up, Carlos? Absolutely, you know Chris. Yeah, Chris is a great guy. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, mm -hmm. but um, so yeah, so I, you know, I talked to Mr. G. Mr. G. Uh, he's obviously not, not happy. He's not. Happy, <laughs> let's put it that way. No, I I know that. Not, you know, not did, happy did you talk to Jimmy the Bull? Yeah, talk to Jimmy. You know, he called me. Jimmy called me. He oh, thought, Jimmy thought when I did that rant, he, mm -hmm. thought, he thought I was yelling at John Romano. Oh, wow. He said, bro, you fucking got Romano good. And I'm like, what? You know, and then it was he thought it was John Romano I was yelling at. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you are. Jimmy's loyal. Like, Jimmy's a good man. You know, he can not like you. You know, he's seen his friends getting fucked over. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, that's true. That's Jimmy's a really good guy. Uh, did you see... Um, uh, you told me that now Bob Bottom lived in Secaucus, right? Right. Bob lived in Secaucus, yes. And he would be able to make it in New York City in fucking 10 minutes or less. He would drive through that tunnel. You know what I mean? Yep. He lived uh, right by WOR TV. Uh, yep. Secaucus. Uh, Species Sex said, even if Mr. G is the worst fighter in the world, you don't publicly humiliate your friends that way. Honestly. Right. Well, Species Shake, that's exactly what I was upset about. Mm -hmm. And that's what I tell them. And I say, listen, even with the cookie, it's not, yep. he's, first of all, he's not the worst fighter in all. He's fighting with some of the best fighters, you know, Frankie Edger, all these guys. He knows all these guys. And he, he, uh, you're not, you don't go full tilt every day. It's not like, you know, when you go to the gym, you don't fucking mm -hmm. just fuck is super heavy every day. You have to schedule it. You have to, it has to be done right. Yep. You know, he, he explained everything. Trust me. He knows what he's doing. And, um, He's not happy. It's not just that, but even with the cookie and how they would say, Mr. G, you don't have teeth in the back of your mouth and all this stupid shit. You know, you don't do that to the guy. You know, you just don't mm -hmm. do that. So he but trains you know, with Charlie or Charles Rosa. Yeah, yes. He trains with somebody uh really big now. But he was he was in uh, the Catone or whatever his name is. Uh hmm? something Catone or whatever his name is. The guy, you know, that Jim up here when he was in Jersey. I oh, okay. Him. He's in, it's another UFC gym where Alvarez and all those guys train, Okay, you know, and, um, Frankie Edger, uh, he was telling me all that stuff, but you know, they're always breaking his nuts. And then after a while, you know, let me tell you, I always tell you, if, if that was the mafia, if you were a wise guy and you broke your boy's balls like that, Nick Catone, oh, Nick Catone, Nick Catone, yes, yes, correct. Thank you, species. Um, yes, Nick he, he would, you know, he would be in trouble. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't fuck around. If you were around a bunch of wise guys and you talk like that about your boys, you'd never be able to leave that house. Somebody, mm -hmm. yeah. You know? And I and I really hope Mr. G does well. I really do. I hope he yeah, he's going to do well. Let me tell you something. I know George. George is a is a street fighter anyway. You know what I'm saying? So now he's learning. You know, like he, you know, he's a tough guy. He gets it in his head. It, it's. I'm telling you, it, it's. He's a tough guy to beat, and he's fighting with old guys that are 25 and under. So, mm -hmm. yep. Uh, John Saldi, way, what's up, Momos? Yeah, John Saldi, what are you doing, John? How are you? How are you doing, John? I saw uh, you took your little boy to a Met game. Yeah, I think so. Right? It, yeah, I think he went to a Met game or something, yeah. something like that. Uh, yes. Todd uh, Morrissey, Pisani is the only Gerard gravy I'll eat. <laughs> Wait, is, uh, did you say that? Yeah, okay. Yeah, J Todd. Todd. Todd, you know Todd Morrissey? I, yeah, I do. I know. I, I know him through, uh, you know, this and Dr. Oliveri. So I hope Dr. Oliveri's okay. So uh, Will Deeble, what's up, my people? What's going on, Will? What's um, going on? Uh, Shakey, you know, uh, Species Shake said, I'm from uh, the area. My stepdad is in Sea Caucus. And he says he thinks he saw Greg at Strong and Shapey a couple times. Oh, so I've been, did. yeah, probably. I'm at Strong and Shapey a lot of times. I'm always, you know, I was always there. I'm not mm -hmm. there now, but I was, you know, because Bob was like a brother to me. So I was there all yeah. the time. I, well, what am I talking about? I helped to move the gym in there. The hardest mm -hmm. thing to do was those. You have no idea. Hey, Anthony D. 
Uh, you are great. I'm doing good. Thank you. Thank you. I just went to get scanned today. So I got to have the operation in a couple of weeks and I'll mm -hmm. be okay. But, yeah. um, but the thing is, um, uh, 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 you know, um, who said that? Uh, John Sally said he got oh, his dick. Yeah, yeah. Boys went to the shower. <laughs> John. Um, but, uh, you know, like I helped to move that fucking equipment. Bro, the hardest thing was forget moving equipment. It's the rubber mats. Those, they're huge and they're floppy and they're heavy. I was me and Carlo you know, Filippone. You know, Carlo. Chicken, I know Carlo. Sure. Charlie chicken Carlo pound. Had known the chicken pound. <laughs> yeah, with 30 years we know each other, you know, or more. Mm -hmm. So we were helping Bob. We were putting H. Fucking mm -hmm. tile down. Oh man, you have no idea. From the old gym. From the old yep. gym. Mm -hmm. When it was hey, by Greg. the way. Hey Greg. Oh, who's this? Who, who just jumped in here? <laughs> hey, who, 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 hey, I put the, I put the chat down in there. No one's jumping in and who don't no wants to jump on. So I figured I'd jump on. Are you coming the twenty seventh for the fight? Um are you you're fighting, right? I'm in. I'm in. It doesn't matter at this point. All right, if you're mm. fighting, I'm there. You better be there. <laughs> Oh, well, we didn't know if you were, what was going on with the fight, George. I mean, you told me. Two well, there's a lot things. of stuff. There's a lot to believe me. There's a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> okay. Maybe we'll talk know. off air about it. <laughs> yeah, I'll let you know. Okay. Right. Right. Jump, jump it back off. Okay. <laughs> I want some bagels, though. By then, hopefully, I'll be able to eat. You know? Mm -hmm. I want uh, some Wolfgang, Applejack, Lawrence, Fist Bump, Greg. You know Wolfgang? Oh, Wolfgang. Thank you. Thank you, my brother. Uh, uh, George, by the way, George owns a bagel store. Uh, yes. George's Bagel Bur if you're anywhere near Berwick, Pennsylvania, man, eat his bagels. They're unbelievable. Yes. He had a great interview with Jim Lampley the other day, too. Right. Jim Lampley. All right. I love yeah, Jim He's Lampley. a legendary. That's an old school. That's an old school. Yeah. Jim Lampley's been around. Yeah. He for... doesn't do many interviews at all. Right. You know what For us to get him was very big. We got him through uh, his agent. That was George a good one, man. Jim Lampley. Yeah, he's very good. Come on. Jim Lampley's very good. Um, was it? Uh, yes. But Greg, you weren't invited to the well. You were invited to Strong and Shapely's fortieth, but they they wanted you to go. Yeah, I was. First of all, I was sick. I just got out of the hospital. Yes. I think I, I was only at the hospital a day or two when they had. That. Yes, you were. But you know, I there, I have to talk with the owner of that. There's things. Yes, I have to be ironed out before. I, you know, it has nothing to do with money, guys. So it's not. It's not like that. It has yeah. to do with uh, Bob. You know what I mean? And. Uh, there's a few things that I have to get across, you know, just, be, you know, I can't just go there and get mm -hmm. my boy, you know, yes. Bob, you know, the way Bob died was terrible. So, yes. Well, uh, when are we getting guests on like Lee, uh, Jimmy and George? I had a guest scheduled for today, but he couldn't come on cause he's on the West coast and he had something scheduled. It's someone's big who wants to speak to Greg. And then there's a friend of Greg. He's a well-known bodybuilder, very big in the industry. Um, he couldn't make it today because it's kind of short notice i talked to him on monday uh he's on west coast time but greg let's just say this guy is pretty big i'm sure he's gonna be like he wants to come on surprise me because we're all yeah. friends yeah. and all i can say is yeah buddy <laughs> 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 how do you think i don't know <laughs> uh so he was gonna come on but he, he couldn't do it he said look I'll right talk you guys soon Wait. i want to talk to greg but uh he's gonna talk to greg he didn't and he would only stay on for a little bit but he's gonna uh he's gonna come on, he said. Um, I spoke to him Monday. I remember when Ronnie saw me in like nineteen it was in the late nineties when I was really fucking huge. Ronnie came out, he we were at like night of champions or something. He he came out of the back. He was wearing this white suit, he was fucking tremendous, he was huge. And he looked at me and back then I was fucking big, you know, and I'm short. So I was like mm -hmm. yeah. and he was like, Jesus Christ. Like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he loves your one uh, your one story he told me. Yeah, he loves the, he loves that lesbian story that I said. <laughs> you know, the, 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 the yeah, one when you shit your pants, you know, who was fucking trying to fight fight me when I shit my pants. Yeah, you shit your pants. Hey, Sean, what's going on? Sean, uh, Sean, Sean. Hey, Greg, you have you ever Chuck met Spikes. Chuck Spikes? You know, I don't think I did. No, but yeah. I, met, I met a lot of the old school guys from Steve Reeves and John Gremick. Again, go to my Instagram. Greg Valentino underscore. If you scroll down, is he talking about you got to scroll a couple mm -hmm. years down? You know what I'm saying? We don't do a ton. Of, I need to do more on Instagram, but you'll see pictures of me with like, oh, what's John Gremick and fucking and Steve Reeves and all that stuff. So I've met a lot of old school guys. And what's his name? Uh, who was weird? Um, the blonde bomber there. Uh, oh, Christ. Blonde bomber. Uh, who's um, the, um why can't I spit his name out? Dave Draper. Andrew? Yeah, okay. Dave Draper, Dave Draper. Larry okay. Scott. I know Larry. I know Larry Scott 
pretty well. I got, I knew him. I, I mean, I went to, di- you know what the funniest fucking stories? I went to dinner. Mm-hmm. Me and my partner, Paul, we went to dinner with uh, Bill Pearl, right? Oh, Bill Pearl, yeah. Yeah, we, I know Bill Pearl forever. So we're sitting there with Bill Pearl, and all he did, he talked to us for two hours, right? And all he did was bitch about Arnold. Oh, Arnold's no good. He's bad for sport. All this shit. And motherfucker, <laughs> that year, he he was given an award, a Lifetime Achievement Award at the Arnold Classic. So whatever year that is, if you guys Google it, <laughs> you know, that, Ar- that Arnold gave Bill Pearl that award. Earlier in the year, it was like September or so, because we were we were doing a. Um, it was like it wasn't a bodybuilding. It was like an it was an equipment expo or something we all did, and he was there, and then we got together and we went to dinner, and it was just me, him, and Paulie, you know, my my boy Paulie, and uh, it was funny. he did he bitched about Arnold like for literally half the fucking dinner. I mean, he was just yeah, Arnold this and Arnold that like, was gone mm. back and fucked up Arnold stories and shit. And then Arnold, that year, Arnold gives him a lifetime achievement. If Arnold only knew. <laughs> yeah, hold on one second, Greg. Yeah. Hold on one second. All right. Just want to see. Um, oh, he said, uh, Dirk Diggler said, hello. You guys love the show. Uh, sure. Kate Verde said, what, Greg, you're the man. Thank you, Kate. Verde. Verde, that's Verde. the name. Hey, back in. Back in. Back Come in. on in. Gonna move, we're gonna move this forward a little bit. You guys, you're, you're missing some of these people asking these questions here. I know, I can't see them. All. We're on here to ask questions to you, Greg. They want, they want to know what's going on. So I'm gonna scroll this down here. Okay. You ready? All right. They're talking about the P Diddy situation. There. That's way out of control. Uh, Greg, do you think Jen Jennifer Lopez knew anything about that? That's William Allen. I do think that she knew. I, I think that everybody knew. Every supposedly. A little weird. Music industry knew just like they knew about Harvey Firestein, you know. But nobody says anything. Go on thirty fucking years until somebody actually has one person breaks the ice and has the balls to say something. Then everybody, you know, then all of a sudden everybody comes out. But you let you let that happen to a million people first, you know, before you open your mouth. You know? Did they find him? He was on the run. He was like on a plane. I don't know if they found him. Funny they said that he fucking that he would actually blackmail you. He would videotape you in his house doing shit with, with people or whatever, and then he'd blackmail you. I'd be like, motherfucker, go ahead, show the video. Go ahead, show it, because guess what? I'm in your house and you're filming me, so you're going to have to answer to that. See, you, you know, usually blackmailers, you can get them back. I'd be like, yeah, dude, I'm in your house. I'm at your party, and you're part of it. You're the one filming it, so why don't you explain to the cops why you're trying to throw me under the bus? Why don't you explain that? But anyway. Jay-Z? <laughs> uh, I think... <laughs> what? There's a lot of trouble here. Someone's yeah. getting in trouble. Yeah, someone is going to get in trouble. A lot right, of trouble. Here. We have now Spice Shake. He says, I wrestled in wrestled North, North Bergen. Bergen. Oh, wow, North Bergen. Uh, mm-hmm. Two, actually, when I played football and wrestled, uh, Shapely. Strong was yeah. Shapely was my home. St. Mary's Wrestling gave me a scholarship uh, right near Shapely. Yeah. Okay. There's a kid I met there that was... Uh... I wish I could remember his name. A really nice guy who actually was an MMA fighter. was a monster. But he didn't fight in the UFC. fought somewhere else. And Bob was good friends with him. He's a big guy. I, I forgot his name. He was also a college wrestling champ and all that stuff. Dirk Diggler, you guys rock. Love the show. Thank you, Dirk. Yeah, you know, we're just ironing out a little bit of the kinks. I mean, it's our first time doing this. The StreamYard one. Yeah, it's a little bit different than the other ones. Though. Yeah. It's but it's better. Weird. It's a lot of bit better. Yeah, I can't even see some of the chats. We got Joe's uh, Uncle George on. Yeah. Is it true your mother-in-law woke up your neighbor's dog with a fart? Yes. <laughs> oh my God. Yes, my mother. My mother's a, a quite, a, quite, a, quite the guy. Let me just tell you something. <laughs> she's, a, she's a piece of work. Let me tell you. You have no idea. She's. All right, Jake is. Uh, uh, I think he did. He's responsible for Tupac and Biggie's m- murder. Um. I don't know if that's been proven yet. I'm not sure. What? So allegedly, le- allegedly, there's spice shake. <laughs> You know, there's, there's other people behind it, but they caught the, the the guy that actually killed him died. You know what I mean? The guy that did the shooting. But there's always people behind that, like fucking Lee Harvey Oswald. Do you really think that he had the wits to set sit up in that tower and know what was going on and there was no diversion anywhere else? You know what I mean? That's why they killed him right away. Yeah, yeah, there was more people involved with that. Oh, yeah, that's why they killed him right away. So that's couldn't why they killed him, yeah, of course. I'll tell you enough enough to really quick. I'll, I'll say this. It's going to be a little controversial, but, I, you know, I talked to, what's his name? Um. Uh, 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 Jesus Christ, Greg. I think too fat. I need the game face today. I didn't take, mm-hmm. Um, Roger Stone, and uh, Roger Stone was telling me that 
you know, basically that if Trump wins, they want, they're, they're going to whack him. He said they're going to whack him and they're going to. Roger kill Stone him. said this. Yeah, he said they're gonna, they don't want him to. They don't want him to win, no matter what. Wow. They refuse to let that man. They will do everything they can to stop him. And if he does win, they'll have they'll do a Lee Harvey Oswald. Somebody will whack him and then they'll kill the guy who whacked him, so that he can never say I was part of this. That's what's going to happen. He, had, he, had, he actually had a big victory today, or was it today or yesterday? They slashed his um Trump. They slashed his bond to like one sixty seven. They try to they try to wait you out um, to try to try to drain your account. That's what that's the whole thing. Delay, delay, delay. They even do that in criminal cases. If you could delay a criminal case, if you're willing to sit in jail, if you're like killed somebody, but you you you're a lawyer, delay, delay, delay. After a while, they're like, look, what can we do? Let's just get this shit over with. Yeah. You know he saying? said he was gonna pay. When well, they asked him about how he's gonna pay, he's like cash. You know? Oh, Trump! Yeah, he's Trump. he's, he's like, I'll pay it in cash. He's got all. He's got the scuttle. That's, well, that's here's gangster. here's the other thing. Here's the other thing. They they say like, uh, oh, he's got no money. He's broke. There's not one billion like cash on him. There's not one smart billionaire that has a billion dollars in a bank. It makes no sense. They, why would you have a billion dollars in a bank? You know what's funny though? You know what's really the funniest thing is though. I, I, and a little side note: He got Kareem Jean Pierre today saying. Listen, the economy's doing great. Eggs are down, milk, are, milk is down. No, 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 no. I'm like, are you fucking joking? I when uh, three years ago, before before Biden, I used to buy jumbo eggs from Walmart. I was getting them 82, 89 cents. I just paid five dollars from Shoprite, and then fucking everything is up. She's like, gas is down. Fuck you, gas is down. I, <laughs> where, where I live, where I live, and I live in New York. You know what I'm saying? It's fucking bad over here. Three forty. One point. At one point, I was getting it for 182. Remember when the gas was real low? Trump's like, we're dumping oil, man. You know? And uh, then it, it was a steady 209 at BJ's where I live. 209. Oh, steady. 209 for a BJ? Yeah. Wow, that is bad. <laughs> well, we'll still do it for free. <laughs> <laughs> no, number. No, and I'm, I'm, listen, Greg, I am like all over the egg situation. I, yeah, I deal with eggs every day. They're they're into the fours. What is what is she talking about? That's right, God. <laughs> we're talking to George, who owns a bagel store, and he has to buy eggs. eggs, and he's paying at least four or five times more for eggs. And first they started, well, it's the bird flu. Now it's Trump's fault. Today they were blaming Trump for the economy. How is it his fault? He's not the fuck. It, it's his fault. The border. Are you fucking joking me? He hasn't been there. When he was here, the border was secure. Now you yeah. I had a guy in the gym the other day. He hates Trump, right? And he was telling me, yeah, but look at us. Now, we're, you know, when, when Trump was the president, our military was the laughing stock. Now we're like militarily strong. And I'm like, what? When they're trying to get transvestites to be like generals? There's generals who are transvestites. Now, where's. Yeah, uh, do you know he lives in Berwick? Who does? The one guy, the trans. Well, yeah. Yeah, really? you know, personally? Yeah, I don't know him personally. They, they know. I'm serious. They really? said he, he changed his name. I, I'm going to get his name. Wait, wait. Lives. So he lives in a town that you live in. So yeah. are you putting soy in the bagels? No, we don't, no. We, I mean, come on, come on. No, <laughs> he, he changed his name and everything. He was on. He was on TV not too long ago. Yeah, he changed uh, Yankees, the whole thing. He's, Yankees won tonight, Greg. He wears, skirt. he wears a skirt with the army fucking thing. You know, oh, yeah. The, oh yeah, yeah. No, yeah. that guy's from here. He's from here. From but, but meanwhile, meanwhile, our military, this guy's telling me the military is stronger than him. I'm like, you fucking joking. I saw an interview with Putin like a month ago, and they were talking about America's got an election coming up and all that stuff. You, He said, I don't, I don't care who wins. And then he said, yeah. he, they said, well, if you had to pick one, he goes, I want Biden. Of course you want Biden. You don't want Trump in there. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Greg, well, you, people don't like when we talk politics, but it's affecting all of us, bro. I mean, it it's is, ridiculous. It I'm good. That, uh, Greg, we were gonna talk about your podcast you just did. Yeah, no. uh, can What's you talk talking? about that? The one, uh, oh, the one I just did uh, with uh, Connecticut. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I just did one. Oh, fuck, I want to hook him up with George because he's a boxing coach and he has some world class uh, boxers, you know, world champions. Oh, yeah, 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 Tyson, huh? Who did have Kevin Rooney? No, 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 no. I did it with a guy. His name is Dave McDonough. The name of the fucking boxing club. Wait is, a minute. What does, he, what does he look like? Does he have a really bad mullet? Mullet, mullet. No, 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 no. He's kind of beefy. And I went to school with him. I grew up with him. 
He wor- I'll tell you right now. He works in the gym. Uh, he works at it at gym. He coaches fighters, but he goes he goes all over the country. Yeah, I Wait, think I know who it is. Let me I, let me see. I told him about you. I told you guys could get to get a pro. He's you got to see the freaking studio, Joe. Studio, yeah, yeah. Oh, what's, what's, what's what's his name? Is is his name is Dave McDonough, David McDonough. He trains out of a, there's a big boxing gym. It's out of the boxing gym in Danbury, Connecticut. Famous boxer owns it. Uh, Danbury, Connecticut, bo- you know, box. If you Google that, That's Mickey Ward. Mickey Ward owns that, right? I don't know. Maybe I, I I forgot. I don't. I'm not sure. You know what I'm saying? I just know he tr- he's one of the coaches out of it. He has a crew that go, you know. And then um, he oh his producer is that guy Ian Bick. Ian Bick is the one who does that. Yes. Uh, what was the name of it, Joe? What the fuck's the name of it? Like locked, uh, in. locked, locked in. in, locked in, locked in. He's a producer. Ian Bick is a producer for a lot of big famous. Like when you go in there, he's, you know he's with Ice T, he's with Tyson all the time. Mike Tyson, mm-hmm. you know what I'm yeah. saying? Him and Mike Tyson done a lot of shit together. He does, he does like his podcast. Like he's the producer, director, all that shit. Yeah, Ian yeah. Bick, you could you could Google him. Yeah, check him out, George. We got um, another question here from Toter. Yeah. Said is Dana Lynn Bailey natty or fake natty? I'm gonna tell you something. I think she's natty. To be honest, I know. Really? I know you guys don't want to know that. Believe that. Listen, I know Dana Lynn Bailey since she was the isolator girl. Okay, so long before you guys even know who she was, I know her personally. And I got to tell you something. Up close, that girl's probably the prettiest girl in bodybuilding. You have no idea. You see a lot of these bikini chicks and they hot bodies and be, but you look close to them they get fucking the pores in their skin their fucking their faces they got mugs on them and shit like that that thick makeup like that mm-hmm. dana lynn bailey can wash her face and just go out there on stage and look gorgeous she is gorgeous yeah. and her body is not juiced up i don't care what anybody i know that girl she trains like a man and she's been doing this forever i know her personally okay she's a good girl she's funny she's witty and up close that girl's fucking really good looking i see all these girls up close bro the girls today i'm backstage yep. i've seen them naked and they're the dana lynn bailey is gorgeous in person i'm just telling you, wow. she's a beautiful girl you know i uh I, I dated a bodybuilder girl she was really she was really pretty she used to work for me she was really pretty What's that? Sure. by the way i gotta tell you i love your wife She's a great girl. Who 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 is the girl you dated? What, your wife? I don't know what you, I'm not gonna say it here. She's <laughs> she's the work for me. She just she oh, just geez. turned she like just turned eighteen or nineteen. Oh and then shit! She, she went away. She, she was Jack. I'll send you the guys the pictures. I mean, I <laughs> never dated anyone like that. No, Came sorry. back. What? Joe's pissed off. He's like, wait, wait a minute. You're, you you. <laughs> I, I never knew that. I never knew. That. Well, I'm your brother. Yeah. I'm a brother. Are you hiding that shit from me? Hey, I brought her to New Jersey. I brought her to New Jersey. Josie, what's that? Yeah, I didn't see it. I didn't. I didn't know you were dating bodybuilder girl. I had no idea. Yeah. Greg, are you talking that's, about? That's it. I think. Yeah. Uh, John. Yes, John. John's. John's good. John's a lot. He's good. John. Yeah, AJ Burnett. That's all. He's good. Hey, listen, John. Yes, mm-hmm. I, AJ Burnett. Uh, AJ. Um, I see. Galantes. Galantes. The Galantes, Jim. Yes, his name is Dave McDonough. He's a great guy, and he's a great box. You know, he's. Been in he's, probably been here. he's probably been here. He, he know, uh, you know, I told him, you guys could hook up. I, I, you guys yeah. have nice music together. You know what I'm saying? You guys yeah. be a homeless project. What's going on? Yeah. Hey, what, if you sleep what, what with a body, Yankees, Yankees, big like, win. With that? You, no, you know what? Um, not really. Not really, to be honest with you. Um, I, I, to be quite honest with you, probably one of the best. If I'm going to be honest. <laughs> Yeah, I'm honest to God. Yeah, but you know what? There are some female bodybuilders that have to even shave their ass. I mean, their their chest is here. Oh, Jesus. No, she wasn't like that, dude. Right. You might have dated like a bikini girl or something, maybe, or whatever. No, this girl was a bodybuilder. This girl was. Jack. She had um, little things on on your ass, the striations. She had on her ass. Mm. Yeah, she was in. Oh, on, man. I like that. He was, he was. what he said. Her personality sucked. Yeah, you know what's funny? Listen, when I was younger, I dated a chick that was into bodybuilding, you know, and she would sit there and I could go out with her to fucking diner, and she'd be like, "You're eating a burger? Oh, you're not gonna eat those fries too, are you?" And I'm like, "Well, yeah." You know, and she's like, 
that I can't believe you're doing that. I'm like, well, I'm not going to sit like you when you get <laughs> like that. You know? <laughs> they're always horny. <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> well, that's, Anthony, Anthony that's, D said they're always horny. Listen, that's, if you guys want to get a girl crazy, give her Viagra. Nobody really, I don't know why guys don't understand that. Viagra makes their clit hard, just like it makes your dick hard. Give a girl Viagra, and she'll, if you fuck her or eat that box, she's going to be screaming through the ceiling. I'm telling you. It's very hard to give a girl Viagra because they. Well, you know, these girls are like, I don't want to take. I don't want that shit. You know what I mean? Well, then you're fucking them and you're, ah, uh, you know, it's forget about it. <laughs> hey Jay Z, you got any Viagra laying on? <laughs> uh, I, well, uh, you need some? I... <laughs> I, I can use all the help I can get right now. Uh, hey, George, you said you dated a bodybuilding chick. You know who I dated? I dated Jason Biggs, chick. the actor. A fat chick. I know a fat chick you dated. <laughs> Jason Biggs, act the actor. Jason, Jason Biggs? Biggs, the actor. His sister. <clears throat> oh, you know, oh, you know what's funny? You know who I dated? Jason Biggs' uncle's nephew's grandson's daughter. How about yeah, that? No, 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 the actor from American Pie, Jason. <laughs> yeah, Biggs. I know. I, I do remember that. Kiara. I do remember that. I do yes, remember that. That was Sister your big get. Hey, I don't know what that is. That was your big get. <laughs> yeah, that was my big get. Uh, she was uh she was in a, he, the guy was in American Pie. Yeah, he was American the guy. Pie, oh, okay. I, I did I see that movie? The movie American Pie. They were in from Hasbro Heights, New Jersey, and he, he had a sister. And that's that my big get. That's my big celebrity date. Oh, uh, John Soldi saying uh, that is okay. Yeah, he's a good friend of yours. I'm very close to his uncle. Then he talked to him almost every day. You ask him, Dave McDonough is his name. He, I grew up with him as a kid. We were, you know, young kids together, Dave and I. You know, with Charlie Gasparino from Fox, Fox Business, we were all hung out together. Bragg works. Yeah, yes, it does. Tr tr bro, tr give it to a girl. Forget about it. Junior. Top, top tips on getting 20 inch arms. Greg, that would be you. Who's that? That right there. Uh, right. Toter. Drop the reps, increase the dosage. Actually, up the reps and increase the dosage. No, you know what I mean? Uh, you got to, I mean, if I was if I was Lee Priest and you asked me that, you know, we'd say, fucking do some curls, you fucking asshole. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, I love Lee. Lee's, Lee's my boy. Yeah, Lee's a um, great guy. I, you know, it, 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 the, you're asking a, a loaded question. Um, you got to eat a lot. A lot of protein and train correctly. Train what's right for you. I mean, I can't tell you like it's not biceps, triceps. It's a combination of both. You know what I mean? Good, Greg. Uh, let me let me ask you: Would genetics play a part in it if you have real long arms as opposed to real short arms, like a shorter guy like Jay Z? He's got really big arms, right? You got really big arms because you're shorter, compact. You got a swimmer's physique. That ain't that's not going to go well, right? It, you know, it. I mean, it helps. You know, to have with your genetics, or everything. You could have long arms and have. Like, I don't have that typical short, like, midget-type build. You know what I'm saying? I have the fucking – I'm 5'6", but I got broad shoulders and everything. Yeah. A lot of guys are compact. They have, like – you know, like, I remember meeting, yeah. you know, Barry Stridham. I, I used to see him even in – and when he wasn't, like – his shoulders were fucking cannonballs, but they weren't – it wasn't broad clavicles. It was just, you know, he had, like – a lot of guys with pinched shoulders get real high traps and round – you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. The wide shoulders, you know. It's a little different, but genetics definitely play a part. But when yeah. you ask me a question, well, how can I get big arms? Well, you know, Lee Priest would tell you train your arms. You know what I mean? I can't. You know, you're asking me. You asking me bicep? You asking me tricep? You asking me the overall arm? I, I'd have to know what you're doing first, and it, we, we'd have to tell you what's right for you. You have to find out what's yep. right. Jo Listen, Joe and I are going to go into gym one day. Yeah, and we'll do some videos. A video, bro, that's going to knock your socks off. You've I'm been just, saying that for a while. You guys no, been well, he was sick, and we're also the weather. Once the weather gets warm, and, you know, I got to get this fucking thing out of me. Let's, let's man up and get to the gym. Man, I'm, if I'm doing it, you guys better do it. I'm getting my ass kicked every day at the gym. Oh, I mean, I'm getting my ass kicked. Joe and I are both going to the gym. It's just that, you know, we, we haven't got to do together, this. Together, we got to get but, together. It's, you know, Joe lives in Jersey. I'm in New York. We're not right down the street from each other. Yeah, but we'll get there. We're gonna get there. We're gonna get there soon. We I got, got my I got my brakes beat off yesterday, like you wouldn't believe. Oh really? Get in the face? <laughs> oh God, beat up bad by a kid, a little younger. How's your shoulder doing? I don't know. We'll find out Tuesday. I get an MRI. Oh, you get the MRI Tuesday. But how do you feel? Is it hurting when you throw the punch or no? It's weird. Um, I got uh, dry needling done. They see they put it back into the they put it back into the socket. It was, it was hanging off the, the labrum. It was pinching it. They put it back down into the socket. So they kind of pushed it down and back in, and it's very 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 sore. Okay, but I'm getting this dry needling done by this guy over here. 
it seems to be working. It seems to be working. Like I can move my arm now. This is it's this arm, so I can move it. I can move it. I'm fine. I could do that. I could throw it like that. The problem is when I'm fighting, I catch like this a lot. I catch his. If he's let me put it here. Nope, this way. If he's throwing at me, I'll catch it my hand here to catch his his jab here. It pushes it back into my into my labrum. See, but you, that's why I want to hmm. I want to make sure. Look, I want to see you kick this fucking guy's ass. But you got to make sure that there's not even a slight injury there because you'll throw a punch or catch a punch or be like, oh fuck, oh fuck it. And once there's a little bit of an injury, hmm. the most guy they cancel fight because you don't want you don't want the worst thing you could do is have everybody in Berwick come there and root you on and then you can't finish the fight and then this guy gets his arm raised or something you're not going to want that i want to see you knock the fucking guy out I, I, you know on, honestly the, only, the the one thing i the only thing i really worry in this situation is he's got um he punches really really hard so right. if, if that, that's the only thing i worry about he's a big guy he's a big lumberjack mm-hmm. guy i just got to move a little bit for about one round but he can remember when i fought him last time i tore my quad in the first round i still won I, I understand that, but I want to make sure this guy's going to go in there to take your head off because you beat him the last time. So now you want him, you know what I'm saying? And if you're not 100%, you'd be better off going in when you're 100%. Yep. You know, when you're in shape, you can knock his fucking block off because all it takes is one. Th- oh, oh, fuck. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's when I do the tag team. Huh? That's when I do the tag Wait. team. Tag out. Joe could Joe could put me on a ladder and we could like he could push me like on the side like the little rascals and I could <laughs> pop like this you know? so guys like this like this and all of a sudden you don't even throw a punch and he, we all of a sudden he gets hit you know what I mean? <laughs> little rascals with that oh we love the little rascals Butch is fighting uh I don't know if you guys even saw the little rascals it might be before your time we did. remember that where he's fighting yeah, like, I remember Butch holds fucking what's his name uh. Butch. Uh, Butch. Alpha, he holds, Butch was the bully. He used to hold Butch Alpha. Yeah. Alpha. Alpha yeah. They're going like this. Well, yeah. Butch holds in his head and he winds up going like this. And mm-hmm. all of a sudden, the guy comes up with it. He had a boxing glove from behind. They were behind the curtain. And it was stretching. <laughs> Ding. And he went like this. He, you know, close thing. It goes like this. It's one yes. of those things you go like this. It's like an accordion. Like an accordion. Yes. It's like an accordion. Like an accordion, he goes like this and pop, and all of a sudden Butch has got him like this, and Butch is winding up, he's gonna hit him and, <laughs> he gets hit. and he, what, what was Butch's uh, little partner's name? Warren Warren? Warren. Yeah, Warren? Butch and Warren. Worm? A worm? Remember Butch? No, Warren. Warren. Worm. Worm. Was it Warren? Butch and Worm or Warren? Remember, I, I forget the little rascal. Was it Butch and Warren or something? I thought listen, it was Warren. Uh we you know, listen, we, uh, Ben Garcia, we've talked about that. We talked about it a lot yesterday. I just gotta tell you something. If Tyson's going in there for legit purposes, if he's going in there for legit purposes, which remember, you guys keep talking about, oh man, you see that video? 10 seconds. It's 10 seconds of him going, <laughs> off. Okay. And everybody's like, look at that. That's 10 seconds. Okay. Yep. But this thing, first of all, the, the younger kid, okay, mm-hmm. has got the wind. He's been practicing, he's been fighting all this time. Tyson is not. Tyson's 57. I don't care if he still hits like a monster. His his reflexes are not the same. Nobody's is. I'm fucking. But the other thing is, which Mike Tyson are we seeing? Because you have to understand something that if Mike Tyson is not going in there to kill him, and they're gonna do what he did with Roy Jones, you punch, I punch, you, you know, you slap me, I slap you, you slap me, I slap you, and they're dancing in there. That's bullshit. And then you know what's gonna happen? They're gonna call a fight that's gonna go to Jake Paul purposely. So mm-hmm. that Tyson. He didn't really lose. It's a bad decision. So now they can have a rematch. Do you understand? And that's what they're going to raise money. Well, what do you think, George? Well, here's the deal. I talked to the State Athletic Commission. Okay. He hasn't even applied for his license yet. He'd never passed a drug test. They, George Djokovic is a good friend of mine who did. He used to do HBO sports. He used to do the yeah. boxing. He used yeah. to do all those little things, those little stories he used to say. And he knows a guy high up in Netflix. And he said, it's going to be what they're going to call an event because even in the state of Texas, an exhibition is is governed by the state athletic commission. You still have to take a drug test, you still have to do all stuff. So it's, that's out. A box, a real boxing match is out. Also, it's going to be called an event. You're going to have some real boxing shows on the on, on event. It's going to be called an event. And he said, boxing fans won't be happy. Casual fans will like it. Whatever that means. Yeah, I'm telling you right now. It's somehow they're going to rob Tyson so they can have a rematch. Tyson will not take a dive, but I'm going to be honest with you. I've also seen Tyson. We've all seen Tyson in his prime, right? Whenever he fought somebody, he doesn't joke around. He didn't play. He was serious. He had that killer stare with the nostrils flared, 
saying, I'm going to eat your children. I'm going to fucking rip out your neck and shit down the hole. That's where he was. Now today he's like, Jakey, Jakey boy, are you ready for this? You sure you want to fight? And they're playing around. They were buddies before this fight, too. You got to understand it. You watch, uh, you know, videos of them up into this fight. They were pals. So I don't see that fucking killer instinct in Tyson. Yes, he can throw bombs. Yes, I seen him hit the bag. But I don't think he's really going in there to fucking kill anybody. I think they're both, they got some sort of payday thing going on. And remember, yeah. the second fight always draw, draws more shadow than the first fight, especially if he was robbed. If everybody said, oh, my God, Tyson smacked him around and everything, and they give it to Paul. That's what I think. Or mm -hmm. if the series is going to knock him out right away. One thing quick. Before before we get on to it, one thing, uh, before we put an end to this, because these people are getting pissed in the chat. <laughs> we're talking about this. I'm just going to tell you guys, not, this is not popular. If it was a legit fight right now, today, Mike Tyson gets knocked out. I know people don't say that. Mike Tyson gets knocked out. I'm telling you, you don't believe me. I know a guy who trains with Jake Paul. Mike Tyson gets knocked out. I'm not saying Jake Paul's good. I'm saying Mike Tyson is that far out. If yeah, he's he's smoking today minutes, on Instagram. I'm, 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 I'm honest with you. He will get. He will get knocked out. I'm I telling you, get knocked out. Listen, George. I said on my show a million times. Uh, if you can't told me, bet your house. I could not bet my house on Tyson. Sure, if Tyson connects with him, gets in there, is really pissed. He would knock him up. But you, you cannot tell me you you don't fight for twenty years. That thing with Roy Jones was not a fight. You do not fight for twenty years. Your skills erode. This kid's way bigger, has a long punch, and this kid has knocked out fouls. Even Tyson said before they agreed to this fight. That this kid hit, I mean, he starched Tyrone Woodley. I mean, to the point where his feet went out like this and he was out cold. A anybody could get knocked out. I, I just don't think that, I'm not sure how legit this is. We won't know until that day. So, when is the fight? Uh, what date is it? They're saying July, right? November. It's in June or July. It's one of them. I, I don't know. Okay. No, I think it's in November. I think it's far off. I, I could be wrong. I'm wrong about everything. So, who the fuck knows? Hey, you know? did you see about that, that ship that crashed into the bridge? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, now, do you think that that captain will get in racist, trouble? Because the bridge is racist, you know that guy was racist and all. Do you think it's, the captain will get in trouble? The captain of the ship? How could he not? What are you? Stu I mean, you're, that's like driving your car and down the wall. Well, they're saying that the lights. He's saying that the lights in the ship went out. So what? The whole bridge is and he lost radar with everything. I mean, I know, I know. What what here? Did it take a genius to see you drove right into the pole? Right into the pole. <laughs> I saw it on video, and I, I have no eyesight. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that, that's the true. Was taken from fucking a mile away in the dark, and I still, we still saw the fucking thing go pop. I mean, I don't know. Maybe he was getting a BJ. Uh, maybe he fell asleep. Maybe he was watching fucking. He was on Instagram. Maybe he's maybe it was Somalian pirates. Why? Why? Why every time something happens, is there a conspiracy theory? I just, I, I think it just hit the fucking thing. What's that? I think he uh, just hit the, the bridge. The, the bridge. I think he just hit the bridge. I don't. Oh, I don't believe there's a conspiracy theory. But yeah, I think, people, I, I mean, people, people. Did you, listen? Didn't you guys ever fucking take your eye off the road and you fucking? I mean, I bump into shit. That's why you guys see my car. I got no bump in my car. You know what yeah. I mean? You know, I hit a fucking raccoon. But what I'm saying is a giant raccoon. The thing I'm saying is that. It happens. I'm not saying he did it purposely. I'm just saying he was stupid. You did something. He was. Uh, that's why I said either he's playing a video game. He fell asleep. He might have fell asleep. You don't want to say it. Yeah. I, you know he drove into the fucking people. Drive into the pole. You know what I'm saying? No, we got a super chat. Oh, Brian, thank you so much, man. Thank I you, appreciate man. That man. Thank you, thank for you Brian. Supporting us. We really appreciate cool, all you guys supporting us, man. Yeah, thank we you. Appreciate you guys. The man, you know, Brian. Think, but that bridge did fall down real easy, though. Did you see that? It looked like a Lego. Castle, just boom, boom, boom. That might look like me on the twenty seventh. Oh, yeah, I agree with you. He's definitely talented. The kid is definitely talented. Dude, listen, what's your name? Uh, George's friend, Teddy Atlas. George's friends and and Joe's friends with Teddy Atlas. Teddy Atlas said, "Do not count out Jake Paul." He said the kid's been fighting for four years. These other guys grew up fighting when they were kids. It's just like in MMA. You get these guys who, who are fucking, their, their mothers brought them to Taekwondo when they were 10 years old. You know what I mean? They wrestled in high school. You know, then you get George Smalley going in and Mr. G, who at 66 joins a gym and just starts fighting MMA. You can't compare. Let's see. Girl Dave said the ship made a hard turn at the last minute because they dropped the anchor to try and stop the ship. That ain't going to stop it. It's not too smart, though. If you're an experienced <laughs> guy, you would know. 
You know what I'm saying? Let me drop the anchor. Or it's like, I don't know. That's like mm-hmm. hitting a parking brake when you're trying to stop your car. It's, mm-hmm. it's not smart, you know? We got uh, Toda or Shadow, 499 Super. Thank you much, so thank much, you, uh, Toda. Toda. Thank um, you so much. Thank you so much, Toda. Toda, uh, uh, Jay-Z. You have more. You have more super chats than I ever had. Brian uh, Brian Pablo was the one who gave me fifty bucks. That's all I've ever got. <laughs> <laughs> well, Joe's popular. You're you're yeah. that's your big brother. Joe's a big brother. Yeah. A dope. I'm a dumb bagel dope. guy. Mm-hmm. No, yeah. you're good. Dude, you're yeah, bagel, my daughter, fucking her mother owned a bagel store, which was known for their bagels. They were renowned. Everybody came from all over the place. But and my daughter tasted your bagels one day. She goes, "Holy shit, who made these bagels?" And I said, "I just came from Burr with my friend." You know. And I told him you made it. And she she loved them. She thought they were better than her mother's, and that's saying a lot. Mm-hmm. Spice Shakers. Bagel store. Bagel store. Where 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 in Jersey are you from? Species Shakes. Huh? He's up around uh, the gym. I think North Bergen. North Bergen. Yeah, he's North Bergen. I think Species Shakes up on North Bergen. And he won, he won the states in Jersey. Wow. Yeah. Ben Garcia. I missed the late nineties. I mean, that was my childhood. The world was so fucking soft and woke. I can't stand it. Dude, my childhood was the 60s. Isn't that crazy? You guys are that young in the late 90s. My childhood was the 60s. I'm fucking old. <laughs> the, the, 90s, the 90s was different, though. The 90s, you got you got away with a lot of shit. The yeah, but I, I like the I, It's tough. I like both the 90s and the 80s. And when I, like the, I love yeah, the 80s. The 80s chicks had the big hair. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And I told you, my girlfriend's like, my mother had the big hair in the eighties. I was like, yeah, 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 you know what I mean? Like that's disgusting, you know. And you think of her with that fucking big hair and shit, she still was. She looked like Andre the Giant with big hair. Yeah. yeah. In the eighties, in like nineteen eighty-five, they, my mother would give me and my brother George, a, a little note to take to the store to yeah. buy cigarettes. They were selling cigarettes to a seven-year-old boy. Yeah. <laughs> Back yeah. in the eighties, remember that? They were dude, selling to us like nothing. Dude. Wow. It the guy, a kid could go in and buy wine, you know, go in, yeah, my, you know, get a bottle of wine for his parents. Yeah. Be like six how, about, how about prescriptions? We used to sign that paper. They'd give us the prescription. Like, it, I think it might have even been like paint or volume for Nana. Remember that? Oh, yeah. We used to sign the paper. We used to bring it right home. Like, yeah. Who did, yeah. And I was young. I would walk up there. I couldn't even drive. So, yeah, we would walk talking, to town. And, year, and how, how, how far we go? For grandmother. You know, getting Percocet or whatever. Percocet. That was it. Percocet. Percocet. Like, okay. Your was taking Percocet? My yeah. My grandmother was. My grandmother was, yeah. Yeah. Like, you're talking, she was in her 70s or 70s, maybe, and they were, like, prescribing Percocet. And, like, it was daily. Yeah. Never happened now. It would never happen. It would never now. happen today, you know. Yeah. You know, and she I mean, she had all... she didn't, if she didn't get it, she was nasty. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Wait, you know what's I, I gotta tell you the story it's fucking crazy my girlfriend will tell you mm-hmm. you know I went I go to this doctor right it's she's the one who gives me the testosterone right and yep. she's also she she works with people like she's also a, a like a psychiatrist and all that shit you know and that's how we get it through that loophole and uh one day she's telling me you know like she's crazy a little bit not for nothing but she's telling me listen you gotta take uh what was that She's on a t- t- it's called um C iron, iron C or something like that. C C. Iron. She that? means like C from the ocean though. I thought she meant the, the, like C, right? Um something like that. It was C something. C I'll ask C C. It's called C face. So if you take it and it's supposed to she says it clears your third eye, this like your <laughs> your your fucking gland up there, your pineal gland. So she's like, Yeah, you gotta do it, it fucking helps you and all this other stuff. You gotta take it. And uh, and I'm like, uh, you know, whatever. See, see iodine, see iodine. That's what it's. See iodine. Okay. And I'm like, okay. You, know. and she, you, know, you got to take it. It's really good. It clears out your gland and all this stuff, right? And I'm like, I don't know. You know, I'll, I'll get some. What is that? You got it? Yeah, right there. That's see iodine. Uh, oh, it's iodine, plus, yeah. iodine plus C thyroid and detox. What's this? What does it do? She meant C, I I, it to me. C, not like vitamin C. She meant C from the ocean, right? That ain't it. So listen to this. This is fucked up, man. She can get in trouble for this. Um, so I'm sitting there, and she comes out, and she has this, like, she's telling me, no, you got to do it. I do it here. I'm doing it right now. And then she pops out this nose spray, right? And she goes, here, try this. It's going to, it'll clear your pineal gland and all this other shit. And uh, just give it, you know. Give one up each nose, right? And so I said, okay. And I'm thinking, I want to see how I done, big deal. So I go, ch, ch, like this, right? Up my nose. 
And then, you know, a second, like, not a second, but a minute later, all of a sudden, I'm, I'm like, feeling really like, whoa. You know what I mean? Like, the fucking room is moving. Room, she's tall, Get out of here. Tall. And I go, what the fuck, bro? I can't fucking, like, I can't. I'm, like, having trouble here. What's going on? And she goes, oh, no, don't worry about it. That's fine. It'll last about 10, 15 minutes. And I'm like, what the fuck? What is this C-iodine shit? She goes, no, 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 no. I'm telling you, you got to get C-iodine. She goes, that was ketamine. And I said, what? What? And I said, ketamine. I said, did you just, like, roofie me? Or what the fuck was it? My girlfriend said, holy shit. And, you know, she was trying to get my girlfriend to do it. She's like, nah, I don't like sticking stuff out my nose. And then I'm like, holy fuck. So I get up to go to the bathroom. And I'm like, fucking, it's like I'm, in the, I'm on a fucking boat that's, like, on the ocean. You know what I mean? Like, I'm holding on to the wall. And I'm like, what the fuck, man? I was so pissed off, bro. Finally, like, after 10 minutes, you know, I came down. And, and she goes, try it again. And I'm like, oh, fucking, what are you, crazy? I don't like that shit. And if I knew what you, I thought you gave me C-iodine. You gave me C-iodine, and then you throw this nose shit at me. What exactly was it? Ketamine? It was ketamine. It's like a spray ketamine or something, she said. Dude, the thing is, part at the club thing is with. I don't, first of all, I don't like to lose control of my fucking self. I, I started getting paranoid. Like, oh, no. Oh, no. Am I going to die from this? Like, what the fuck? What the fuck? You know, like, I can't walk. I got to go. I got to go pee. It was the worst fucking shit. I don't know. Anybody, like, I won't take, like, I've had operations on my hand no, with no fucking, with no uh, anesthesia. I tell them nothing. Don't even numb it. I don't want to even numb. Not even, like, mm-hmm. I'll feel yeah. it. I don't give a fuck. And my doctor's like, man, you're elite. And I lay there. He fucking shoots me right into the fucking thing to get the thing, you know, to cut the muscle and stuff. I don't feel mm-hmm. nothing, man. You know, I, I was like, yeah, I felt it. But I mean, I he, I didn't move. I was so fucked up. Hey, one more. What's going on? Hey, um, one more. What's up, man? So fucked up, bro. I, I'm like, I don't like that shit. Like, I don't even like, like, anesthesia, you know? So I, I don't like to lose control. I was like, what are you, crazy? My doctor's fucking, she's nuts, bro. But she's so, hey, nostril. Hey, Greg, uh, sometime tonight you want to briefly tell the story about when you're on the Hutch Parkway in the ice storm and all the cars <laughs> started sliding into each other on the tra- oh, yeah, was on I, Channel 12 News. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah uh, oh, wait, we, you the one where you saw me on the channel. Oh, you, you saw- were on Channel 12 News. Yes, I remember that. You sent that to me. Yeah, I was on the news. Yeah, that's because, and I was really adamant. <laughs> you were adamant, yeah. I was coming back from dropping my daughter off at the airport and I was driving her fucking car and it happened to be like one of those days where there's like flash ice. You know what I mean? It just mm-hmm. happened. There was no ice and all of a sudden now there's fucking ice. The roads are slick and it's fucking So I'm driving on the hutch and I come around a turn like this and I see cop cars, all cop cars and they're bumped into other cars. The cops were fucking, you know, were it crashed into cars and then there's... Uh, a pile of cars in front, like there's piles of cars everywhere where you couldn't go through. So I come to a dead stop. I'm st- I'm trying to stop the car and it wouldn't stop and it wouldn't stop and I steered it into finally stopping. And I'm like, oh God, thank God. But now I see the other cars and they're coming fast behind me. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, brace yourself. Brace yourself because they're going to hit me. Mm-hmm. I can't move. There's nothing I can do. And they hit me from Boom, one hit me from the back, another hit me from the side, then another hit me from the back. I get hit four times, and then it shot me across the ice, and I steered it onto the grass because I was going to pile up, right? And as I steered it onto the grass, another car came up in the air and landed on the back of my daughter's car. So there's a car in my daughter's car. And we were all right. My girlfriend, Lucia's in there, and she comes off, and she sits there, and she goes to me, why are my glasses broken? What happened? And I'm like, what? We were just in a car accident. She didn't even realize it. Oh, she got a concussion or something? This thing where she like blacks out. It happened with my friend, too. She was in a car with my friend who had a truck. And they're sitting in a truck, and a fucking car comes in a parking lot. Uh, bang, into the fucking truck like that. In, in the passenger seat side. And she blacks out for a split second and wakes up and says, what happened? What, what are we doing here? My friend's like, we're just in an accident. What are you talking about what happened? Like, she's really bad. Wow. So, I got her even on video. I have a whole video of the thing. But the car was total destroyed. It was hit four mm-hmm. times. I was wow. I was the only guy able to stop on that ice. Don't ask me how I did. I steered into it. You know what I mean? And then mm-hmm. stopped. But bro, bro, they were hitting me. Bang! One hit. One hit off the guardrail. Came over. Bang! Hit me like, like a ricochet. Like mm-hmm. a ball. Bing! Bing! Like that. That was your car. Or your daughter's car. No, it was my daughter's car. And you know what's funny? I I mean, it was under my name. I bought her. Okay. Car. But the thing is. There was like 52 cars, 32 were 30, uh, 38 were like totaled, you mm-hmm. know, out of 52 pile up. 
It was the worst pileup in, in like 20 years on that. And it figures it's the day that I'm fucking driving. You know what I'm saying? Yep. It was like I remember two- that you're on Channel 12 News, and I'm all, I remember Channel 12 News. I see Greg Valentino. I'm like, holy shit, what did he do now? You know what they liked because I was like, <laughs> I'm out of me. You know how I am. I'm out of me. I'm like, I know. I mean, boom, the fucking car hits me, and they're like, holy shit, they like that shit. The lady was like, bro, it's the best interview because everybody else was like, well, you know, we didn't know. Yeah. You know, so you know me, I fucking get nutty. And um, you were showing the car to him too. Look at my damage here and this. <laughs> damage. Look at this shit. The fucking yep. car. Because the car flew up. I can't yes. even. Like a car flew up in the air and bam, landed on the back of my the trunk of my daughter's mm-hmm. car. And it was an SUV. It was big. They were hitting off like pinballs. Bing, bing. Hitting off of other cars yep. and hitting off the guardrail. Because it was around the turn. And they were mm-hmm. all spinning. You know what I mean? I saw the flashing lights. So I, it caught me. The cop car, the cop was screaming, don't get out of the car, don't get out of the car, because people were getting out of the car, and the cars were hitting into them. One guy yep. died. One guy died because he got run over by one of those cars. It was bad. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. I remember you on the news. And this died. is only, thank you, John, John, uh, John Saldi. Thank you, Johnny. I appreciate that. Yes, it was crazy. It was nutty. It was, it only shit like that. Only, yes, like 7 a.m. Yup. I had to, fucking my daughter has to pick the worst fucking day to you. It was like a January third or something like that two years ago mm-hmm. and yes. it, it was black mm-hmm. and, and no there was all these cars you know the cops don't give a fuck you just gotta leave the car there they're like find a way home and i'm like how am i gonna find a way home they took my girlfriend in the ambulance i jumped in the ambulance with her because oh, really? she had amnesia she had no idea she's like why are we here and i'm like look and she goes whose car is that and i'm like are you fucking joking me that's gina's car my daughter gina you know what I mean? I thought it's Gina's car. What are you talking about? We were in that. We were in that crash. Is that why my head hurts? Like, cause uh, the fucking airbag came out and smacked her in the face. But she doesn't remember. She's <laughs> wacky. My girlfriend's wacky. And we know that. Greg, yesterday's live stream, the guy that great that you did, the guy wanted to pay five thousand for Lucia's socks. Yeah, some guy true. He wanted Lucia's dirty socks, and he was like, "No, I'm being serious." He kept saying, "I'm serious. I'm not playing around. I will give you five thousand. I said, "Put the fucking money." Right now, put it in the bank, and you'll get. I'll give you ten pairs of her socks. Fuck you, know what I mean? I'll throw it in the bank. They're throwing her underwear too, for free. Jeez. I'll throw it. My girlfriend's feet don't stink, but her sister, who's hot as fucking hell, her sister's gorgeous, bro. Drop dead beautiful. What a face on her. But it, her feet fucking reek. She'll take off her shoes. The whole room will stink. You know what I mean? Right. What about the mother-in-law? You know what's funny? Oh, my mother-in-law, forget it. Uh, I, the, the shoes are rot. Off. Listen, I don't understand because my mother-in-law is a fucking ugly man. You know what I'm saying? She's, <laughs> is that someone here? Oh, uh-huh. um, no, no. She, oh, she, look who it is. The, the lovely wife have just walked in on my live stream. Come on in. Hello, Come wife. In. Come on in. <laughs> no, my, 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 my mother-in-law is Oh, there's not no Johnny Handsome either. But they, they have all good looking kids. I mean, her brother's a good looking guy. You know, I mean, it's the sisters and shit. They're all mm-hmm. you know, good looking kids, you know. Well, George, you're gonna block jump off or I'm gonna jump off because she's giving me the death stare right now. All right. Me and Greg will continue right now. You guys we'll continue, going. Greg. I will see you April twenty seventh. There you be go. There. We'll kick some ass. We'll see you there. All see right. You, all right, April twenty seventh. So Greg, yes, you were saying um your mother in law sucks. Oh, well, her socks, right? Yeah. We could rot the, <laughs> We have to peel them off her skin on her feet. Probably she's disgusting. I'm, you know, I don't know. I never, I, I, I never been with her fucking smelly feet. Like I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. you know, she usually doesn't change in front, but she's disgusting though. Sports talk. Mm-hmm. Sports talk. Yankees won today, right? Oh, bro, bro. Any of you guys are Yankee fans? Even if you're Yankee haters, the fucking Yankees suck, bro. Listen, they could have fucking won that game. They could have destroyed it. Bases loaded, double play. Bases loaded, get double play. You know, nobody, you know, only a few guys hit on that team. But the Did thing the Yankees is, Yankees win tonight or lost? Yes, but they got lucky because let me tell you something. What's his name? Clay Holmes did everything he could to throw that game away. Dude, he sucks. He, you're not going to go to World Series with that guy as your closer. It's impossible. It's impossible. He's not good. He's, he sucks. Mm. He was the year he was unhittable. Two years ago, he was unhittable till the late June, all right? And then he put him in an all-star game and everything. Then he pitched mm-hmm. batting practice so bad, so bad, that they took him out of the closer role and put Chapman, who sucked even worse, who lost the role to him, put him back in. That's how bad he was. 
let's see. Come on, no sports. Let's talk about trannies or Trump. Trannies. What do you want to know about trannies? <laughs> Guru Dave Smith. What's <laughs> yeah, Dan Clay, Greg, what's going on? Yeah, the Mets suck. I like that too. Yeah, the Mets. Are, I, I like the Mets though. I'm one of the few. I, I root for both Yankees. I'm more Yankee, obviously. Yeah, I'm a Yankee fan. Yeah, I'm a Yankee fan myself. I was. I used to go all the time. In the Thank 90s, you, John. In the '90s, when they won the World Series, I went to the World Series and stuff. But now I don't go as much as I, I used to. I told you that story, my I, you know, it's too fucking expensive. First of all, the girl I grew up with works for the Yankees, right? So I always had box seats to sell, right? You know, because it was a drug dealer and I used to fucking, yeah. I knew all the scalpers and I, I'd, I'd get fucking box seats right on the fucking field. So I'm sitting there and, and uh, you know, my a girl that I grew up with used to see me there all the time because she works for the Yankees. You know, she's in, in a clubhouse. And so she comes up to me and she says, Greg, how about I get you a ball for your son, Paul? And I said, yeah, get him a ball. She was going to sign, I'll have a guy sign it for her. So she comes out with a ball and it's signed by Derek, Derek Jeter, Okay, Mariano Rivera and Joe Torre. Mm-hmm. Derek Jeter, Mariano Rivera, and Joe Torre. So give the ball. Yeah. The next All famous. Day, right. Now remember, my son lived with my wife, uh, you know, at the time, right? This is just before he stopped seeing me. And we go over to I go over to the house the next day, and it, him and my daughter are using that ball. They're playing with it on the fucking on the oh my street, god. On the blacktop, and my daughter's hitting it, my son's hitting it on the blacktop. It's all scuffed, it's all fucked up. I'm like, that's a Hall of Fame ball. Can you imagine what you could get for a ball? Oh, yeah. Joe Torre, Derek Jeter, and fucking Mariano Rivera, and my kid's over there fucking hitting it. Here, Gina. Yeah, it's just off the ground, Gina's kind mm-hmm. of, I'm like, are you fucking crazy? You know, wow, so, yeah. I, that's, that's fucking insane. Yeah, that's You know, I, was, uh, I watched a documentary the other night about um, O.J. Simpson. Yeah. And they're saying that they believe now his son was involved in that. No, nah, I don't think so. I they, they, you know, they, they, all these conspiracies. He went, there, he went there. He got pissed off. They, if there was, there's no evidence that his son was there. This is just like hypothesis. Just like I hate when people say, you know, George Bush blew up the Twin Towers, and you know, that was all. Di- it was dynamited. What happened to Building Seven? Huh? Why did that come? I'm like, yeah, you tell me. So what was the, What did they gain by blowing up Building Seven? Yeah, I, it's all fucking bullshit. I don't believe any of that stuff. You know what I mean? Jimmy the Bull loves the conspiracy theories. Oh, you know that. Jimmy's a conspiracy guy, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. Flat. You know, you guys that don't know Jimmy, Jimmy's very passionate about that. When he tells you the world's flat, he, he's not playing around. Yeah. I was, flat. Yeah, yeah. When I was with Jimmy. When I was with Jimmy. That's no joke. When I was with Jimmy, we were, I think we were ordering something at the, at the diner or something. And he was telling me, going over one of the company symbols. He goes, hey, do you know what the symbol of this company means? And I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, this means money. This means wealth. This means take over the country. And I'm like, he's reading this out of a symbol of a company. I forget what company it was. But he's he, saying the he, all he, hidden he symbols knows. in the company. I know. I have friends that are all into everything. Conspiracy. <laughs> Everything's a fucking conspiracy. I don't believe any of that. There's no, none of that shit's a conspiracy. Oh, we didn't really land on the moon. Oh, we didn't do it. I don't give a fuck, really, to be honest with you. But. You know, it's 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 stupid. You know, the only thing I think, the only thing that I doubt, I don't know what the fuck really happened was when that shooter, What's up, Jeremy. That, hey, Jeremy, how you doing? Um, was when that shooter went up there in a in a hotel mm-hmm. and was shooting people left and right from from uh you know from the window and everything there, and you know, because mm-hmm. I mean he brought like piles of guns in there. He shot the fucking guy in a in a hallway. And which one was that? Was had, the- the sniper guy? guy? Yeah, the sniper guy shot shot one of the security guards in the hallway, which those hallways in Vegas, every one of those things have fucking cameras everywhere, that mm-hmm. whole fucking thing. And that guy laid there for fucking like a half hour, an hour, till somebody even knew that he was shot. It's like, get, get the fuck. Like, but that was like odd. There's too much shit that doesn't make sense there. How a guy can get that many guns in there and shoot from all those windows and nobody could stop him? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That yeah. I don't know. That was that was a strange thing. But whatever, you know. Greg, would you says, get, Greg, would you get Chicago-based pizza or always eat New York pizza? Well, you gotta remember, I never ate Chicago pizza. And New York pizza is legendary, and yeah. all the gangsters that were from Chicago, like oh, the mm-hmm. gangsters, they, they were all New York guys. Al Capone, yeah. all those guys. Mm-hmm. You know, what I'm saying? they all were in New York. They just yep. went in New York, New York, or, New York. North Jersey. You know what I mean? Yeah, they're all New, New York. York, New Jersey. Yeah, Jersey. I, mean, me, I mean, our area, Greg, is a lot of right. Me Trust. and Greg know a lot of these guys. Right, I know a lot of guys. We know a lot of them. Yeah. That shit. My my neighbor, four maybe a couple blocks away, Richard Kukunski. 
Right. Oh, I remember. Iceman. You're right. I yes. You Iceman. Iceman. Listen. Yes. Richard Kavinsky, Iceman. He's the, literally. The New York tri-state area. Every people who don't live around here don't understand that New mm-hmm. York, New Jersey, and even Southern Connecticut. Mm-hmm. You could live in Connecticut and be in downtown Manhattan in 20 minutes if you're in Southern Connecticut. You live in Jersey. I told you, Bob Bonham lived in New Jersey. Sea Caucus. Yeah, Sea Caucus. He used to just jump through the tunnel and he'd be in Midtown yeah. in Times Square yeah. in 10 minutes. Yeah. In 10 minutes. So that's how mm-hmm. close they are. So when you think of New York, New Jersey, they're all interchangeable. New York, New Jersey is a tri it's the yeah, tri- tri- state area. area. The tri state area. I mean, know. that whole area, you yeah. know. And if you look at my brother's old interviews, we had Rita Giganti on. I know all these people. All those guys, Hoboken, all those, you know, well, a lot yeah, of gangsters. Big, the big, you know, the Sopranos, those people are real. Those, they're they're right. based on a real people around here. That like Greg knows a lot of them. I know Greg, me and you both talk about it. We know oh, a lot yeah. of them. I've you been know? around Junior Gotti. Oh, I, yeah, I, I, <laughs> I don't want to be around that at all. I just no, think some of those I, guys are really that, just, I didn't deal with them. You know what I mean? I dealt with wise guys, but I dealt one wise guy went to prison and shit, you know, that's mm-hmm. the one that killed me and Paulie. But the mm-hmm. thing is, I don't get involved. I want no part of that shit. You know, when I was around those guys, I was respectful. It was like, hey, doing that say I could go don't fuck around. Mm-hmm. I don't mm-hmm. want to get involved with them. Even, they, you know, sometimes they'd ask you, hey, we can do some stuff together. Uh-uh. I don't want to get involved. No. Because there's no, no getting no. out of that. And, mm-hmm. and you know the shit goes down, they point at you. You're the rat. You know what I mean? Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Why? Yeah. I don't even fucking know what you were doing. Now you know you motherfucker ate a rat. That's what happens. They start pointing the finger. That's why I tell people, like I even told my friend who got arrested, you know, don't tell me what you're doing. I don't want to know. Because if yeah. I don't know, you can never say, when you're trying to figure out who the rat is, you can never say it's me. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. I don't know what you're doing. Don't tell me. You're my friend. Mm-hmm. You really keep your personal business out of it. You know what I mean? I don't want to know. Yeah. One of the guys that lives right over here. He's, you know, he's right by me. He, he's an older man. He's he's probably in his like sixties, almost seventy, and he's got, still wearing an ankle bracelet. Listen, and I'm like, is that a way to live? And he's just like, oh fuck. They, they use you though, those guys too. They know yeah. they all fucking use. I've been around so so many guys. They they fucking use you. And then they when they want to throw you away, they point their finger, and mm-hmm. you know, the minute they're your friend, the next minute they're setting you up, and you're getting robbed. Yeah. It's yeah. happening to me. It's mm-hmm. happened to me. One minute they're your boy, and the next and then minute they, they're right in the back. You know what I mean? I had guy rob me, wise guy and stuff. And mm-hmm. nobody, I couldn't figure out who it was. My partner kept telling me who it was, and I was like, no way. It wouldn't be him. Miss Bella. Miss Bell, 1388. Yeah. What's up, Greg? You know Miss Bell? On, Ms. Bell? Hey, thank you so much, Miss Bell. Yes, thank you, Miss Bell. How are you doing? Uh, you know, same shit with me. Everything's good, you know, just a species shake. My uncle was a Gambino. My neighbor is in the Lucchese. They killed the, the father, crazy, sad, and true. Yeah, unfortunately, in this area of Jersey and New York, we, we I mean, they're all around us. I mean, I know them all personally. You don't get, the thing is, you just don't get involved in Because let me tell you something. When you hear a guy gets whacked by the mob, it's one of their own guys or somebody who's doing business with them. It's mm-hmm. one of them. They don't just walk around, oh, some guy took my parking space, let me shoot him. It doesn't work like that. Mm-hmm. They, they have a code. And an ethic, mm-hmm. But if you're in with them and they don't know somebody ratted and you know what they do, and if you're involved with them, they sometimes will whack you and everybody else who might have known, so they, whoever it is. You know, you understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So you don't get involved. I didn't get involved, you know. Uh, yeah. And you got to be careful when you mess. I'll give you a great example. Angel Gotti. Angel's. John's daughter, friendly with her, you know. Mm-hmm. You say anything wrong, especially she's a girl in that family. They 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 just turn on you and they want to. They're like, "What are you saying that to her?" You're like, "Oh, I didn't mean anything by it." So you got to be really careful. You know, it's funny. When I met Junior, he was okay. It's the guys that he was with. They just sit there and they just stare at you like this. And if you say hello to them, I, I've said this before. When you talk to them or say hello to them, they'll just barely, barely even nod their head to be like. You mm-hmm. say, hey, what's going on, man? How you doing? You're God, you know, God bless. How you doing? And they're looking mm-hmm. at you. They'll just yep. like that. Joe, you, so, you know, you get to steal Greg's tips, right? <laughs> That's true. I get to steal Greg's tips. Steal them. But I always take care of my boy. I always do. Guru Dave Smith. So now you're a guru, Dave. Yeah, he's like Guru Amin. Yeah. Guru Amin. Dave's very political. Right, Dave? Who? Dave, Dave Smith. Dave's very political, right? Yeah, he's into, uh, he's a Trump guy. Greg, Joe, have any of you eaten at uh, Rouse in Harlem? Rouse in Harlem? No. No, never eaten no. myself. 
No, uh, I used to sell trucks in Harlem, but I, I never, I never <laughs> ate. In the no. I girl, think- girl, Dave Smith said he got his certificate from Amin. <laughs> mm. The mob kept the city back in Cape. Uh, Wind word attack said the mob kept the city safe back in the day. They let alone small guys and taxes and big fries like it should be. Well, they did. You know, they did uh, keep the city safe. But yeah, back in that day, when you're talking about like in my father's day, you know what I'm yes. saying? It was a different animal. Different. But today, yes. these mob guys are fucking nuts. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. All, they look at you. They don't talk. They just they think everybody's a fucking rat. They think everybody's. You know, you don't just, it's best not to get involved. You know what I'm saying? It's best not to get, I didn't yeah. get involved. I didn't want to deal with them with any of that shit. You know, my friend was involved with them. And I just told my friend, you know, hey, you want stuff? I'll give it to you. You give it to them. I'm not getting involved. I'm not meeting any, I don't want to meet them. And My cousin used to be run their gambling shit. We used to go in mm-hmm. New York City, right? It was, I don't even remember, it was like 20 something street. We were going, it's something like you see in a movie. They come down in an elevator. What do you want? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, mm-hmm. my, it was my cousin. Yeah, I'm here to see Ricky. I'm his cousin. Okay, mm-hmm. he told me. All right, come up. And he go up, and there's all big fucking area. There's gambling shit going everywhere. Yeah, I'm not talking about the social club, because we used to go to his social club, too. That was, you know, they'd be eating fucking, you know, no girls allowed. Can't bring a girl, because it, it's like a, a, it's a rule. But in, when we, we would go to these, like, gambling party things, what they have, you know, there'd be all strippers in there and all these fucking, you know, there's celebrities. It's funny, mm-hmm. you know, when we were kids, when we were kids, our, one of our friends' fathers was in the life and we were kids. We we're like eight years old. He would take us, me and my friend to like, like different stores. And he was like collecting money. We didn't know we were just kids. He would take us for the ride and we would stop at every store. He'd get us ice cream and, you know, pizza and video games. And then, but after every time we'd stop at a store, he put a big trunk in his trunk. He put a lot of like big bags of money. Close it. All right, we're going to another store, guys. Get a toy or something. And we would just go with him in the car. Yeah. See what was going on? We're seven years old, eight years old. You know, we're going to the store to store. I have friends, you know, that collect. And mm-hmm. uh, I can't tell you, you know how many times they beat up the wrong guy and shit? I could tell you. Oh. Was, I have one friend that's a really crazy man. And he went in and with a, one of my other friends, and they went in to collect money, and there was the wrong guy. They went in his fucking apartment and they had this guy tied to a chair. And my other friend's like, wait a minute. He's looking at the guy's license. He's like, this is not the same guy. It's his roommate. You know what I mean? We got the mm-hmm. wrong guy here. You know, it's like, he already beat the fuck out of the guy. He did all this shit. The guy's pissing and shitting in his pants mm-hmm. and stuff. Yes. It's, 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 I don't want involved. I just don't want to be involved in it. Well, way. that's like, like when you and Jalissa, remember when Jalissa saved your life? Oh. They got you. They thought you were the wrong person, right? What that happened? was. Latin, well, they didn't think it was, it was the Latin kings, though, right? They were trying to rob me, yes, because they were trying to rob me. They were trying yeah. to rob you, yes. right? Jalissa yeah. saved and you. Jalissa knew it was Jalissa was Spanish, you know, she was Puerto Rican. These were Dominican guys, but they spoke, you know, she could understand what they were saying, you know. What I mean, and she knew this shit was these guys were no good. I never dealt with them before, these were new guys. And I went so why'd you I, deal with them if you never dealt with them? The money, you know what? I trusted the doctor, you know. Um, what I mean, they, they were guys that the doctor hooked me up with, you know what I mean. and and when you do this shit, you know, it's fucking, you know, you, it's, you know, you're at your own risk. You know, they would always, I, I, am, I got robbed a few times, man. Mm-hmm. That one was bad. And she knew, you know what I mean? I used to have, you know, I was arrested with two handguns. I have two gun yep. charges. And uh, she took the gun out of my glove compartment because I was in there too long. I was supposed to wow. just go in, get the money and come back out. And she came in and she could hear them fucking beating the fuck out of me up there. And she just... Popped it in. open and she shot this guy right on the ass. And then I grabbed the shotgun. It was crazy. It was crazy stuff. It was crazy. Hey, guys, hold on one second. I have to pee really bad. He's got to pee. So while he pees, I'm going to answer some of these questions here. Uh, let's see. Carmine's is fantastic. Uh, yeah, my uncle was Sonny Pinto. He took out Joe Gallo, the Irish who's Lucy based on. Really? Shakespeare. Wow. Uh, we need them to control the illegal <laughs> Because yes, we do actually, Miss Bella. We we do. Uh, Guru Dave Smith. Uh, I'm from Scranton, PA. Okay, I know Scranton. Russell Buffalino, who Joe Pesci played in The Irishman, lived about 15 minutes away from me. Really, I did not know that. Wow. Yeah, I have the Gigante family lives about 15 minutes away from me. I got a bunch over here, right? Like going on over here. 
Uh, yeah, real John, real OGs move very softly. That's true. Very, uh, very uh, quietly. That's true. Uh, shakes, uh, species shakes is your Joey Tax family. <laughs> Ruben Sanchez, what's up, man? I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, I haven't talked to you. Sorry, I've been busy. Um, guys, I got this uh, Monday. I'm going to be dropping an interview with um, the wrestler Mar Marcus Buff Bagwell. Uh, I interviewed Marcus. He's a friend of mine. So I interviewed Marcus Buff Bagwell. I'll be dropping that on my channel. That's coming up. And then I have another interview with um, Wild Man Mark Merrow, another wrestler. He, he was uh, Johnny B. Bad. Then I got two other big wrestlers coming up. Uh, so they're going to be coming on uh, within the, uh, you'll see them pop up on my channel. But I got two big uh, interviews coming up with uh, these two wrestlers. I'm going to have a couple surprise guests come on the live stream. It's the first time I did the live stream uh, with StreamYard with Greg on this platform. But we're going to be, now I know how to do it. And we'll be getting some guests to jump on with us. So uh, it'll be pretty good. He almost had one tonight, but he couldn't. Yes, I almost had, but he's like, he's last minute. He couldn't come. He's like, I can't there was do somebody, it, man. Joe told me there's somebody who wants to see you who's going to come on. He wants to talk to Greg. He wants to talk to me because he's in a... He's my old friend, and he's yes. Joe won't tell me who it is. I'm not gonna say the name. I just Joe won't tell me, but I race. know who it is. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's him. Well, he's gonna want to talk to you. Way, 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 way back. Yeah, Ryan so Coleman, a fucking great guy. Let me tell you something. That's a good man. He Ryan talks. Coleman's excellent, man. You know, it, you know what's funny is like, like he's a fucking tough guy. Like a too big, like a tough guy. He, sorry, he doesn't act like his head is no. I mean, he's a down to earth, Mr. Olympia. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't act like he's like, you know, he, he yeah. talks to everybody. He's so easy going, such a good man. Mm -hmm. He's a good man. I love Ronnie. We've so been you, with him many a time. Funny story about Ronnie. So, Ronnie, me and Ronnie, uh, he was at UFC gym in New Brunswick. Me and Ronnie, that's when I saw him and he gave a shout out to you, right? Right? Mm -hmm. So, I was yep. talking to him and he did a couple things for me, right? And he's like, Hey, just he, Ronnie goes to me, Hey, just Venmo me. And I'm like, I, so he gave me his personal Venmo. So I Venmoed Ronnie the stuff, right? But he's, he's like, but just don't let anyone, you know. So now I have per Ronnie's personal Venmo. And, like, I see the transactions between, like, him and his wife and him. And, his, and I'm like, Bonnie, I don't need to know all that stuff. But it's very funny, you know, because sometimes I guess he, he didn't use, you know, he used Venmo at that time. But it was pretty funny. What did we got here? Saying something. I want to see what Miss Bell was asking or something. Miss Bell was asking you what she said. I'm not sure. I can't. You know, it's hard for me to read. You know, uh, you know, you had it with them. If you leave them alone and not cross them, they left alone. Today, yeah. a dirty look gets you. Yes, Miss Bell. I, I knew. I, I was in with one of them who was, like, really bad. Very His, his father's. Mm -hmm. Yes, his father's very bad. I know exactly. He's mega, about. mega fan. I'm not even going to say it because he just yep. came to prison. I don't know why. You, Harry Dunn said, do you guys know A.J. Benza? Um, no. I know who he is. I never met him though. Never met him. Everybody thinks because I'm Italian. I, I, I don't like to be around wise guys. So I'm, I'm Italian, full blood. I don't want to be around that shit. Uh, John Mancini said, uh, I got to bring uh, Jose Ray, uh, Raymond or Guy Sister Nino on. Yes, my guy will do it. Guy's awesome with us. I, guy's guy my, I just put up that video with me and Guy Sister Nino from way back before he was a pro yeah. bodybuilder. You know, Guy used to train at my gym that I owned and stuff. He used to date a girl from Yorktown where I. Where I am, you know. Yeah, uh, guy invited me to the grand opening. I was supposed to go down there, but I just couldn't make it because I got too many things going on up here, you know. Yes, but, you know. So whatever. Jose so, so. Raymond forever, you know. I know Tito Raymond too. His, his, his was that brother? brother? Yes, Tito Raymond. You know, his brother was a his brother is like a really good looking kid. He was once like a I think like a fitness. So he was a bodybuilder too, but he he didn't go as far as uh, as Jose. You know what I mean? But he's real GQ. He was married to Amy Fadahi. Do you remember Amy Fadahi? Yes, I do. Yes. Okay. Or some people called her Fadley. Maybe I'm saying it. I think it's Fadahi. I think you're saying it. I think it's, yeah, you're saying it wrong a little bit. But I know what you're talking about. He, maybe I'm saying it wrong. I'm stupid. Anyway, so he came to the table with him and Amy. We were talking once. And uh, I was fucking around. I said to uh, Amy, I said, uh, what would you do if you woke up in the morning and, you know, you saw that, like, I swapped, I, you know, swapped with Tito, and you saw it like it was me. And she goes, I'd fucking throw up. <laughs> <laughs> like, you saw it was like my face on Tito's mm -hmm. body and shit. She goes, oh, I, I, and Tito was laughing. I said, you know, what would you do? I said, because I'm, I'm an ugly motherfucker, and he's a good-looking guy, you know what I mean? And mm -hmm. she's like, oh, my God, I'd throw up. 
Like, <laughs> that's a good answer. <laughs> Ruben Sanchez said, hey, Greg, I got custody of Ethan, but I don't know why Mason won't talk to me. Any advice? Well, that's kind of tough yeah, there, Ruben. You know what it is? I don't know. That's great, and I hope you do get uh, – Mason back, you have to find it. Are you and the wife brawling? Is that what it is? Is the wife like telling him, filling his brain with shit? Or, or I mean, I'm not sure. You know, I'd have to know the situation. I can tell you don't give up on him and don't push him, but be there for him. Do you understand? If you push too hard sometimes, that doesn't work. You understand? Yeah. You have to fucking, but you got to be there for him. You got to be ready to catch him if he's falling. You got to stand there and if he's going to trip. You got to catch him. But if you keep pushing him, so don't push him, but try to find out. There's a reason. There's a reason. More than likely it has to do, if you're not with the wife and you're here and she's there, one of the kids, look, I had my daughter, but I didn't have my son. You know what I mean? My daughter mm-hmm. was, tell my wife, I don't care, I want my father. You know? Yep. So, uh, yeah. So John Mancini said, David Henry was a great bodybuilder too. Yeah, David Henry. I remember David. Anthony D said Tito married Amy Fodaldi, both on uh, M and F cover, Muscle Fitness cover. Yes, Amy was yeah. really cute, man. You had to see her in person. And and Tito's a good looking guy. That's what I was saying. Look at you two. You look so good. He's a good looking guy. You're a good looking girl. I said, can you imagine if you woke up in the morning and hit my face was on Tito's body and Tito went like this and she goes, oh, she got, you know like she was like fucking. She thought like I, you know that was like, that was disgusting to her. John Saul, he said, guys, it's so sad to see him walking with a walker. He Who, Ron, like, Ronnie? Ronnie? It yeah. is, John. It is. Yeah. You know what? I'll He's be honest with you. He's a good man, though. If you yeah. knew him. Like, John, if you went up to him, he wouldn't be like, yeah, yeah, I don't have time for you. You know, he wouldn't be like that. A lot of guys would go up to Fletch Wheel, go up to a lot of those guys. Yeah. Sean Ray, I love Sean. I'm close with Sean. Yeah, you know, he talks with me. But if you went up to him and you, you know, he'd be like, yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, a lot of those guys are like that, but not him. And he, no. he has... The trophies to prove that he, you know, I'm not saying he should be like that, but he he's like that, you know. Just like yeah. believe it or not, I know you guys aren't going to believe this, but Arnold's pretty approachable too. I mean, if you were somewhere and Arnold was there and you talked to him, he wouldn't not talk to you. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. Now, if he's walking through the Arnold Classic and he's got to get somewhere and there's a million people, he can't just stop and talk to everybody. He never get out of it. But if you were in a store or something, you saw Arnold shopping and whatever. I'm just saying. He would talk to you. I know Arnold extremely well. I know him. I met him the first time in 1976. He's actually a really good guy, and he's actually very close with the people he grew up with. Like, the friends are still his friends. Mm -hmm. Only thing I don't like is his politics. You understand? That's why. Remember, he's one of the people who helped lobby to get steroids fucking the kibosh. Back in 1990 with Biden, that piece of crap. You know, all of them. They, they lobbied against that. Mm-hmm. Remember, there was yep. a rumor. There was a rumor that Lee Haney, who was about to break Arnold's record, he didn't want Arnold didn't want Lee Haney to break his record. So the rumor, I don't know if that's true or not. I don't. I doubt it. Remember, George Bush Ju- uh, Senior made Arnold the pr- president, president of fitness, whatever, of, for the United States. Like they led the Council on Fitness, and when mm-hmm. they. When they did the whole steroid thing, he was like, you know, steroids are bad. I only did it before a show. Mm-hmm. That's not true. You know, without steroids, he'd be in Australia right now. Mm-hmm. Just Austria. Aust- I said Australia. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. He'd be in Aust- Austria right now just dreaming about coming to mm-hmm. America. Day. So, you know, steroids did him pretty good. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it was pretty sad with Ronnie. You know, when I was at that uh, convention with Ron- Ronnie, the promoters were having him sign autographs. He had to go to the bathroom. Do you know, like, no one helped. I helped him to the bathroom. I helped Ronnie to the bathroom. They just like let him go in the chair and get he wheeled. Was wheeled I helped him, right? He, he, a, he uses a walker and then he gets like a, a motorized chair. So I helped him get in the chair and I took him to the bathroom. But like none of those guys were like helping him. Dude, Ronnie. Weird. If you went to, I used to, we, go, we used to go to Carlo Filippone. You know, me, him, yeah. him, mm-hmm. me, Ronnie, and, you know, Victor Martinez. And he would fucking sit there. And he would eat. I seen him eat a pile of rice. I seen him eat spaghetti after that, the meatballs, mm-hmm. chicken breast, and that mm-hmm. pound the food down, bro. Yeah. Guru Dave Smith says, uh, Greg, do you think Mike O'Tren or Mike O'Hearn is natty? <laughs> now, I talked about this the other day, and I, I know this is going to kill you. This is going to kill you. You guys are going to think I'm stupid. You're going to think you know more than me. But I'm going to tell you right now, Mike O'Hearn is natural. I'm sorry. He's big. First of all, he's a big guy. Okay, 
he's not that big for for the size he is. If you shrunk him down, he's not that big at all. He's not even. I mean, mm -hmm. I was bigger than him. He's not that big. But mm -hmm. also, I know guys who know him personally, and I'm talking about Lee Priest as one of them. You tell Lee Priest, right? Lee Priest will tell you right to your face. Michael Hearn's natural. He knows it for a fact. Bob Bonham used to tell me, no, I know Mike. And I know Michael Hearn's wife, Mona Morrison, for probably close to 10 years before Mike met her. Uh, yeah, Michael Hearn. Before Michael Hearn met her. I know Mona. I used mm -hmm. to, Mona owned a restaurant called Nebraska Steakhouse mm -hmm. in City, okay? Down right down by Wall Street where the bull is and everything. I used to go there all the time. I used to eat there with yeah. Paul Capone. Rodney Roller, you know, mm -hmm. a bunch of bodybuilders and stuff. We would eat there sometimes, Sean Ray, Rod, and, and uh, you know, we, we would eat there all the time. You know, Rob, Robbie Duran, who who took over for Dave Palumbo when Dave Palumbo was fired from, from MD. We used to all eat there. Mona was actually already a pro fi figure girl. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then he met her. So I know you guys don't want to hear that. Everybody thinks, now, did Michael Horn get, does he get Botox and shit? Maybe. You know, the face looks a little bit sometimes. But who cares? I don't give a shit. Yeah. It's just like those synthol guys that you see, those freaks in fucking Brazil. I can't stand what people ever compare me. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Yeah. I'm um, Harry Dunn said, did you help Ronnie to the bathroom? I did. He says, did you have a disabled mom? Yes, my mom is disabled too. So that's why too. I must oh. have it. So that's why. Um, what do they say? Um, Liver King is a different story. Yes, John. Liver King oh, is Liver a different King's story. Different story. I fell for it a little bit. And I gave. I give everybody a benefit of the doubt. See, you know, it's because people accuse me of shit all the time, and that I didn't do. So even all the synth all Yep. Well, exactly. I had one arm that was like a balloon, and it was a hematoma. I drained it. About why wouldn't I? If that both arms didn't look like that, it was one arm. So yeah. now let me ask you a question. Do you think like I shot one arm and wouldn't shoot the other? I mean, come on. You know what I mean? Yes, I shot them with fucking tons of yes. steroids and oil-based steroids. But when you see that giant balloon arm, that's mm -hmm. fucking, you know, people use that synthol, the abuse. Yeah. And you know what? At this point in the game, if that's what you want to believe, I don't give a shit anymore. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's fucking over 20 years ago. Some of you weren't even born yet. Yes. You know? But, uh, you know, people accuse me of doing it all the time. So I mm -hmm. give benefit of the doubt. Yeah. Well, G Greg, we're going to have to wrap up. It's been an hour and a half already. I feel like we just started. <laughs> you, I know last night you could have went eight hours. <laughs> I don't shut the fuck up. You guys don't know. Joe will yes. say Joe, He goes for a long time, but it's been an hour and a half for us. Joe's like two and a half hours and shit, right? Yeah, you do. One way. Yeah, <laughs> one way. Um, guys, I appreciate it. Like and subscribe to Straight Out of Jersey. Also support my boy Greg. His channel starting to come up again. All you guys, we love you. Miss Bella, 1388, John Mancini. I love you Shake, guys. Thank you. Guru Dave, Anthony D, Harry Dunn, John Saldi. All you guys, Win Word Attack are my boys. I appreciate you guys. Love you guys. Support the channel. Like and subscribe. Greg, I love you, brother. Thank you. I love you too, man. And uh, thank you, guys. We'll be here next week. Same next time. week. And hopefully I'll get that special guest that's coming. I got to talk to him. He told yeah. me to call him today. Buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Greg, I will talk to you. Love you, brother. All right. I love you, man. Bye. Bye, guys. Love you guys, man.